Hi guys and welcome back. Second topic of today is certifications. A lot of people have a lot of questions about the different certifications that we as phlebotomists can hold or the agencies that give us our certifications. So there are many accrediting agencies for phlebotomy certifications nationally, such as NHA or NCCT or NAPCT. A lot of those agencies have the same, I guess, stipulations upon getting your certification. You do have to recertify. All of those things have to happen. But those particular organizations are the ones that give you your certification to work outside of the state of which you live. Now, the thing is, a lot of people don't understand the difference between a certificate of completion and a national certification. So, for those who don't, I'm just going to help you out a little bit. A certificate of completion is just a certification stating and to acknowledge that you have the skill and knowledge to do what it is that you are looking to do. So as a phlebotomist, your certificate of completion states that you have the knowledge to do the job as a phlebotomist. Now, your national certification accreditates you or solidifies you a little bit more which allows you to work outside of the state of which you live in. Now, some things to keep in mind. All states do not have the same requirements. Some states have tiers to their phlebotomy. So one state in such is California. California has limited phlebotomy, phlebotomy one and phlebotomy two. Now let's just say you acquire your certificate somewhere else and you want to move to California, you have to contact the Department of Health through California to see where you would fall in their guidelines or their stipulations for a phlebotomist. So what you may acquire elsewhere may only allow you to be a phlebotomist one, where you as want to be a phlebotomist two. You would then have to take a continual education course or acquire any additional training that's necessary in order for you to step up. So when it comes to looking to acquire your national certification, you want to make sure that you are acquiring what you're supposed to have. Now, again, there is no right or wrong agency to use. So you can choose any one of them. They're all one and the same. You just want to make sure you have something. You do not just want a certificate of completion. Because again, there are a lot of states who do not acknowledge regular certifications. You must have a national certification. There is also a international phlebotomy certification for those who are interested in traveling abroad. So if that's something that you're looking into, you can do your research on that as well. So we have a lot of different certifications that we can acquire to be able to do what we need to do. But it's up to you to make sure that you have the right one. It's nothing like paying for something and it's not what you expected it to be or you pay for it and you can't use it the way you thought that you could. So first things first is when you're acquiring your certification, you want to make sure that it's what you're looking for. And if it's not, then you need to find what it is that you're looking for. Now, some places will assist you in locating other options. But of course, some people aren't as willing to help because you're not going through them. So they won't be as eager to help you. So with that, again, just for pre, you know prior future knowledge, there are many of accrediting agencies when it comes to your national. So again, you have NHA, you have NCCT, and you have NAPT of many of the others. So I would definitely say do your research. Make sure you know what it is that you're getting. If it's not what you want, don't acquire it. Try to find something that has everything that you want as a whole. Or if they don't, they at least help you go about getting 
to the information that you need. Don't just take the course just because it's there because it will pretty much be like wasting your money. You want to make sure that you're taking a course that's going to benefit you in the long run and you don't have to jump through so many hoops at the end to kind of get where you want to be. So again, for all of those new flats out there or if you're looking to join the phlebotomy world and you're finding a program or you're looking for a program, you want to make sure that you are acquiring the certification that's necessary for you to be able to move how you want to move. And if not, they need to kind of help you. And if they're not helping you, then that right there should let you know that's not the program for you. If they don't even want to help you when you're in the beginning stages of trying to figure out where to go and how to get your feet wet. So for all of those who are looking for information, I would love to help you find that information. Please email me at VainTasticPhlebotomy at gmail.com. That's V-E-I-N-T-A-S-T-I-C. I would love to point you in the right direction. Even if you're already a phleb and you're looking to get nationally certified, I would definitely love to point you in the right direction. If you're just looking to get started, which a lot of people are, you know, with this recent pandemic, the only thing that's pretty much standing strong is healthcare. And that's because we're not going to go anywhere. People are born and they pass away every day. And we have to have people there to take care of them to make sure that the cycle can continue. So with that, healthcare has definitely withstood this pandemic if you worked in it. The only horrible thing about it is that we put ourselves on the front line. And sometimes that is not always great, but it's what we sign up for. So with that, if you have any questions, please comment below. Please email me. Let me know. I would love to answer them. I would love to talk about them with the rest of the flips out there who have questions about our world or how to go about joining our world. Or if you're already in our world and you're looking to branch off or acquire additional information, please feel free to contact me and I would love to go and help you with any of your questions that you have so thank you guys again i look forward to talking more we'll have more topics about the wonderful world of phlebotomy and again you guys if you have any questions please comment below so we can share that with the rest of our clubs out there everybody have a great evening and i look forward to talking to you guys next time bye